Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to Red the Fire 4. When we last left off, we made it to the final save point of the game. Now, you might notice that I'm not actually at the final save point of the game. Uh, before we went to Fought Fulu, I did want to actually show you how to kill the Treans. The, one of the main reasons you would kill the Treans is to uh, get Prey's ultimate weapon, the Nunchaka. Uh, which is actually one of the reasons why I have decided to come back and kill the Treants. I've been very, very disappointed in the Flail's performance. It's not working nearly as well as I had hoped. Uh, so, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to kill a Treant. Now, uh, you don't have to necessarily kill, I mean, use charm, but, uh, the Nunchaka has, like, normally a 12% drop chance, uh, using the, using charm bumps it up to about 25%, so yeah. But anyway, uh, the most important abilities for killing a Treant are War Shout, and... Last Resort. I mean, you want Last Resort on Ryu. It doesn't necessarily matter who you have uh, War Shout and Shadow Walk on. I like to use Ursula because she's got plenty of AP to cast both. This is actually the most successful setup that I have found to kill Atrium in the least amount of turns. Uh, these three characters. You, there's other ways to do it, and obviously, but let's see. We want to switch her out first. That way we can focus, get that extra nine percent. All right. Now we want to meditate into the night. Now, you want to turn into the knight because, well, first of all, he's a very physically attacking, attacky dragon. And second, because it has Shadow Walk. So that way we'll have two people using Shadow Walk and then Sias using Shining Blade. Let's see. He's got max power. That's good. Switch to the night. And this is probably the closest you're ever going to see me to max attack power. Just to demonstrate what kind of attack power I'm looking at, let's go ahead and Shadow Walk, Shining Blade, use item. 855. Uh, if I had actually gotten a combo that first turn, it would have went up to like 880. So yeah, it's very nice. This is still plenty to kill the... The, the main thing here is you want to combo to get that extra, uh, those extra small hits. Those really rack up extra damage. An extra 10,000 points of damage, roughly. Very nice. See, that's an extra 2,500 right there. That's three, six. That was an extra 8,000 damage. That was almost enough to kill that Trian outright. Uh, the Trians have 60,000 HP, by the way. So I did, I think, 58 there. So I'm actually almost powerful enough to kill them in one shot. Not quite. Uh, they should die this turn, assuming I get a, another set of full combos, like I did last time. It can take three turns if you don't. If you get unlucky on the combos, it, it can take three turns of damage. But uh, I seem to have gotten lucky, so we'll see. Will I get uh, lucky on the drop? See, and they should run away. Uh, the Treans will also run away after I think not, uh, ten turn on the tenth turn. They run away. Let's 
So you do have a time limit on, on the preparations thing. But uh, 10 turns is plenty of time to kill them. No, not berries. Okay. Well, anyway, that's how you kill a tree, and I'm going to do my best to get an Unchaka. I may give up and just go with the cudgel, but uh, we'll see how long it takes. I will meet you guys back in the final save point of the game, and uh, hopefully I will meet you there with a Nunchaka for a prey. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to the final save point of Breath of Fire 4. Uh, I did get my Nunchaka, just to let you know. I actually got it in the battle after the one I filmed. So that was pretty nice. I didn't have to do too many more. Uh, you can see the Nunchaku, 145. Compare it to the Flail, 261. Compare it to the Cudgel, which is the most powerful single hit weapon you can purchase with Zenny. You buy it in Cheeto. And that's the entire reason I bought it, just so I could compare it right there. Uh, so let's go on to the final area. Now, oh, these guys, totally not worth fighting. The Titans are not worth fighting at all. Uh, if you could kill them before they break their club, because they break their club just like any of the other guys with the same sprite, uh, they can drop an Earthbreaker, which is a decent weapon for crates. It's not as powerful as the Nunchaku, but it's, uh, I think, 125 power, an Earth Elemental. Now, uh, I do want to point this out. I am not going to be stealing from the final bosses on camera. The reason, by the way, because someone asked me if I was going to steal the Royal Armor and the uh, Royal Sword from the final boss. Uh, I am, but off camera. The reason being is that it takes a really long time. And it's really not interesting to watch me try and steal for 20 turns while, you know, basically treading water in a uh, boss battle, especially a boss battle. I I've always felt that it was kind of, I, I don't know, anticlimactic to, to basically, like I said, tread water in the most dramatic battle of the game uh, and just sit there and continuously try and steal. It's, it's kind of dumb. So I'm not going to be doing that on camera. I will get the items off camera. And that way I'll have them for when I go fight the rider. Uh, hopefully I can kill the rider. Uh, by the way, I think I mentioned this. Uh, well, no, I didn't. Cause, uh, but I ended up getting for Nina. Because my time ended up going over 40 hours. Partly because, you know, I've been getting lots of like phone calls and stuff. And just interruptions. And I've been putting it down and letting my timer run. But I got Oracle for going over 40 hours from Momo. So, I have that. And if you don't have Oracle, don't worry about it. Magic Ball works almost as well. Oracle's just a little more powerful and cheaper. Well, that was a cheap shot. That was a cheap shot, too. Thou who art me. Sound like a persona. Alright, it might have been a cheap shot for uh, Cray and Nina, but I mean, the other three, they should have known better. Just so go to walk in and go, err? Well, at least they're not dead. Hey, dude, you shouldn't attack my party members that way. It's 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 bad. Tis I, the time hath come for us to unite. That we may become a true god at last. This is very, very Star Wars-y, uh, honestly. Join me. Join the dark side. Except Fulu's not really evil. He's just kind of... You know. He's kind of crossed that despair event horizon. Like I said, he's not evil. Apathetic, maybe. 
Uh, haughty, for sure, but evil, no. I shall await thee, Ryu, in the place where this all began. Now, that line kind of confuses me, because if you go to Mukto, there's a monument that says this is the spot where uh, the god Fulu was summoned into the world. I mean, there's a monument, it's there, it's where you fight the rider, it's where you got the dragon tier. But the place you fight Fulu looks kind of like a, like it's a place where you would go and you would summon somebody. It's big, it's ornamental, there's a, a, a big dais and things. And, you know, Fulu talks about how it's the area where all this began. So it makes me believe that, I don't know, maybe that's where he was summoned. So I, I don't know. So it really doesn't matter. It's just something that I find, find interesting. It was an astral projection. Unable to merge with the Emperor, huh? Yep. Let's go. Now I am going to ignore the fact that when you hop on this elevator right here, the elevator goes down, but when you show up on the other side, you end up coming up through this hole. I'm going to ignore that, because it's a magic elevator. Now, this right here is the point of no return. You, you touch those stairs and you're in the end game and you can't go back. So if you need to go back and do something, do it now. And I forgot to fill my AP up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. Ain't no sense, I mean, in saving the stuff. We're here at the end game. Uh, you do need a healthy supply of vitamins for this battle. Try to have around 35 to 40 more is better uh, but uh, yeah let's see what else uh, having wells is a good thing uh, assuming you don't have wells you should have around five moon tiers assuming you didn't use them you're going to need these we will talk about why when we get to it but for now let's go on Because this is something that Ryu must do alone. Now, the final battle is a three-part battle. And this is the first part. It is entirely scripted. It lasts for five rounds. And in that fifth round, he attacks you with a move that is about 1,400 points of damage. If you want, you can steal a Dragon Tear from him during this phase. Uh, but I don't have any way to steal on Ryu. Plus, another Dragon Tear is really not that useful. You know, for all the shit I've given this game for its story and its meandering purpose, it's... This is the point where I think things kind of start to make sense on why they did what they did. Here you have a story. You have two people who are for all intents and purposes the same person they are I mean right here it's to meet yourself in this fashion it's very weird they're the same person but you have the same person going through different life experiences and winding up meeting at the a predestined place they're two different people you know, it's it's amazing how you go through and like a journey through life can shape who you are and how you view the world. And that's what uh, that's the main difference in how they view the world. I think is is their experiences during the, their journeys, you know, and how they were treated along the way. Now this battle, you pretty much, like I said, you could steal a Dragon Tear from him, pretty much just defend. You cannot hurt Fulu. 
He'll attack you for five rounds, and then on the fifth round, he will, uh... Do a move called Wide Out. Hit you for about 1,400 points of damage. I do believe that actually can kill you and give you a game over. So, you do need to keep your HP above... 1,400. Can thou withstand mine power? I actually, uh, remember something about, uh, this line right here. Should ye fall, who then shall protect those who stand behind you? That is your clue to heal, because he will say it twice. Oh, he didn't actually say it twice. Or did he? I wasn't paying attention. But anyway. When he casts wide out, the battle is over.